G'day everyone, Little Aussie Collector. Welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd do a quick uh, video here for you for the horror section here. It's Friday the 13th, happening tomorrow. So I thought I'd get this video out uh, nice and early. Uh, and let's have a look at the horror collection here. We do have one question though. Should we include the uh, Gremlins piece in the video? Um, so we've got a couple of Gremlins pieces. So I think we should kick it off with those and then we can work out or not whether you think this is a, is a horror. I know it's a PG-13 film, but um, certainly can categorize in a, in a little horror section. So let's go through uh, one by one the pieces here. So we'll try and make this video short, under 10 minutes, and uh, let us know what you think uh, in the comments of what piece you like the most. So we'll start off here with the ECC uh, Mohawk. It's a nice looking piece here. So this is a sort of full one-to-one -one scale Replica of the Mohawk from Gremlins number two on the photocopier there with little giz inside the photocopier. Some really nice intricate paintworks here. Uh, all of these pieces that I'll show you, I've probably done a video on them separately. Uh, one aspect of the Mohawk that's very nice is the back details here. So some really nice paintwork on the back there. So uh, it's a little bit of a shame to display him on a wall or anything like that because you don't get to see him. But uh, nice piece there. So full life-size replica there of the Mohawk. Uh, we go across, this is an Australian company that made uh, Stripe with the chainsaw. So there's not a lot of these probably on YouTube at all. So this is just an Australian company that's made this one. And uh, it's a half-scale Stripe with the chainsaw from obviously Gremlins, the first one. And then, of course, we've got Giz with the Melting Gremlin. So a real uh, sort of a hero of a piece, this one. One of the, my first pieces that I bought from ECC. Got the Melting Gremlin in the background there. Uh, and certainly a lot of people love this piece. Again, a bit of controversy. Is this, is this a horror film or not? Um, for me, I'm just chucking it in there for the nostalgia of it. But, uh, yeah, a bit of uh, whether it's horror or not is another thing. All right, let's get down to the real traditional horror icon pieces that we've got here. So we have the ECC, Friday the 13th, uh, full scale one-to-one. -one. This is the Jason Voorhees here. So mask does come off. He has got a custom mask to him. Um, and this piece was, uh, I bought this piece on the same day as I bought the uh, Freddy Krueger, actually. So nice machete there with him with a single arm bust. So I do like displaying him with the mask on. Uh, he's pretty grotesque, as you can imagine, underneath. Uh, but I do think it's a little more iconic with the mask. Um, unfortunately, they, they did produce their own mask, but they were a little bit wide, a little bit uh, too big for the head, I think, in my opinion. So I bought a custom mask for him. All right, next in line is we have Reagan. So... This is a uh, custom piece, and I've got a little, uh, actually what I've got here, as I haven't probably shown you guys yet, is a $2 coin from New Zealand. So this is a, uh, a minted coin, so it's actually $2, and uh, they produced uh, 1,973 of those coins to um, have the uh, year of the film, 1973, and uh, that's a really nice little, uh, sort of like a little proximity piece that I have there next to her. So again, yeah, custom piece here for Reagan. Terrific, really enjoyed the film. Obviously, it's my favorite horror film, so um, I needed to have a Reagan in the collection. So we move across now to a little bit more of a new age horror and the scream. So we're going into three PCS items you know, back to back here. So these are one third scale statues and this is Ghostface. So I couldn't tell you which film it's sort of replicating here, to be honest, but um, a nice one-third statue scale here for Ghostface. The Scream franchise is one that's still kicking along really well. I think even the new films that they've produced in the last five years have been, I think, pretty big hits. So I think Scream 7's due out next year. So that franchise just seems to continue on and on. All right, so my second uh, favorite horror is Halloween, the original. So this again is a, a PCS one third. So this is the exclusive version here, which comes with a few bonus goodies. You get 
the pumpkin, which is a nice addition. You also get the tombstone. You get a uh, bed uh, sheet as well with some glasses. So I just don't have those on display here. And you get the bloodied knife as well. Very iconic scene where he's at top of the stairs. Halloween. Uh, yeah, second favourite horror film for me. Uh, but he has been in the collection for some time now. So next door to him is the one-third Leatherface. This is the Butcher Edition. So again, this is another PCS Studio um, one-third scale replica piece. They have done two versions for Leatherface. So this one here um, is the one that I went with. You have the Pretty Woman version as well, or the Butcher. And again, uh, one third scale. So those three together look quite nice. You can see there. And they're pretty tall too. So you've got the life-size busts that you've just seen. So they are a little bit taller than that, which is good. So out of those three, definitely my favorite of the three is Michael. Uh, and then I think statue wise, I think Ghostface uh, and then the Leatherface there. All right, so we're gonna move into three additional pieces here from another custom company um, that makes busts. And uh, these are three life-size busts. We'll go through them one by one. And the first one we've got is Valak. So this is from the Conjuring universe. And uh, her eyes do light up and she's got a little name plaque there. So this is a custom piece here. I've had her in the collection for a couple of years now and is a terrific piece. So this is a full silicon um, portrait, uh, even silicon tongue, and she has got uh, acrylic teeth, a very nice piece. So again, from the Conjuring universe, that is the nun. Uh, next to her, we have the Red Lipstick Demon. It's got a couple of names, actually. So this, again, the same company we're talking here. Now, this is from the Insidious um, franchise. And this piece, again, is from the same company. Has a full silicon body, so the upper body is also silicon um, with the shoulders. And then you've got the portrait There we go there. So the red lipstick demon from uh, the custom company there with also, there's a blue box hyper they're called. And the highlight of this piece is definitely the portrait with the teeth, the teeth in particular. Uh, they actually don't show up as dirty on camera at what I'm looking at now to what they are in real life. So uh, in real life, they are looking uh, much grimier and much dirtier. So nice attention to detail here, you get the earrings and everything like that. Moving across to a piece that's probably a lot more familiar with uh, collectors and with horror movie icons is Pennywise. Again, same company, so all three are from the same company. Uh, this one here has a little bit of mixed media, obviously, with the clothing. Um, and you also get a sort of like a, a small story base there with the name tag. But uh, Pennywise, again, portrait is what you're paying your money for here. But I really like the, the forehead details as well. And obviously he has the hair as well. Again, eyes light up on this one. So two of the three busts here, they light up. So out of these three pieces here, um, these are a little bit hard to separate actually. So um, from a movie point of view, the uh, first Insidious film out of all of these, I think it is the best. And then I would go with uh, the Pennywise, uh, the It movie, so the first one. And then I would pick the Nun or the Conjuring 2. It depends, if you're talking Conjuring 2, then maybe that is as good as uh, It, so that's a very good film. But if you're just talking the Nun on its own, I think that's a little weaker film. Uh, I definitely love the Insidious movie, the first one, the most out of these three. But from a bus point of view, I think, um, yeah, very, very difficult to, to pick here. All three have um, certain aspects that are really good. 
All right, we move across now to a icon of horror in Freddy Krueger. Again, an ECC. I bought this on the same day as I bought the Jason. So a fantastic portrait here. Great glove or maybe not glove is great, but maybe just the pose of it is really, really good. And some fantastic glass eyes. That's the highlight of this piece. Again, it's been in the collection for some time now. Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. If we're going through movies here, definitely you can't get past the first original. And uh, I also love the Dream Warriors, which is this is based off number three. I think those two are the best in the franchise. Um, it would be good to see a new Freddy Krueger, perhaps. Um, maybe I'm a bit more old school uh, in thinking that um, some of these movies would have a new generation of fans if they brought out some new films with it because I think a lot of the uh, kids today or the younger adults don't appreciate those films that are made in the 70s or the 80s. All right, and moving across from there, we've got uh, two more pieces. So we've got Blade. Again, 50-50, whether you could call this a horror character. So this is uh, the Reaper from uh, ECC. And he really should be in the video because he's just so kick-ass. As you can see there, he's just got an amazing mouth feature. So that's the Reaper from uh, Blade number two from Marvel. And then last, but certainly not least, is a real icon in horror, and that is Chucky. So this one here from uh, Seed of Chucky from Sideshow Collectibles. Still the OG, the original. This has been in the collection forever and uh, I can't see me parting with this ever still a fabulous piece the life-size Chucky so there we have it guys that is the uh, horror selection there so I want to know from you what is your a what your fav favorite uh, horror film and B what's the favorite piece here so um, you might have a favorite film but it might not um, reflect the piece that you like the most in the video and vice versa you might like a piece that uh, you think the movie perhaps isn't as great but Friday the 13th tomorrow so uh, happy day for some uh, superstitious for others but uh, let me know what you think in the comments also I've hit a thousand subscribers so a big thank you to everyone in there uh, certainly some more contact coming soon we've got uh, a couple of really really impressive pieces coming in the next two or three weeks all right, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you uh, definitely hit that like button. It helps out with everything. And again, a big thanks for all those that have subscribed over the last year or two. Uh, very much appreciated. All right, until the next video, we'll see you soon.